Hey guys. You all come to play with Story today? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Good afternoon world. It is late in the day, it's actually three o'clock. It's taken me a long time to pick up the camera today. We've just been working from home. Story's been playing with the local kids here at the resort, just down by the sea, having lots of fun. Loads of people here today and loads of dogs barking. Sasha is preparing a very, very late lunch for us. She's also been busy getting some Instagram posts done. It's amazing how much time all of this takes. I'm glad that Story knows how to entertain herself outside of our care sometimes. It really does give us a little bit more freedom to do what we need to do so Story can still have fun and still be occupied. And she's close enough for us to see what's going on too. Dogs are being super lazy today. Moonshine's just having a rest on the deck. Colotte has been busy all day cleaning up the resort. All the dogs are getting excited. <laughs> Story hasn't had any sleep today. But when she's stimulated by all the kids, I don't think she cares. Story can pretty much roam freely here. There's only one ground rule we've said to her, which is don't play it on the rusty car. And she's been very good following the rules. Massive dog party again. The big coconut harvest was a success. Look at that, empty of coconuts. They've left a big pile here though. They did that last time as well. <laughs> mm. She looks so small. Sasha's been busy in here making plates of fruits for us all. <laughs> I had absolutely no idea that it had gotten so late already. Yeah, I know. The time just flew by today. I don't know. I looked at the clock and it was gone three o'clock. I was like, oh, we haven't had lunch. <laughs> yeah. This is Story's snack plate. She's got lots to eat when she comes back in. I can see a cup of cheese, pumpkin, pineapple, and ginger juice. Here it is. Yeah. She made it extra gingery for us this yeah. time. We requested more, didn't we? Really nice. I've never had pumpkin juice before. This is good. Yeah. Good stuff. Story looks like she's on her way back. Did you have fun playing with your friends? Yeah, actually, I want to watch, watch something on the bed. Yeah? And that's where you want to eat your snacks? Watch this. I'm a big dog. Wow. That was really good. Good job. Did you just learn that now? Yeah, well done. Ah, oh, I think they were doing cartwheels out there, weren't they? Yeah. All right, very important. Wash your hands, make them all nice and clean. What did you touch? I touched crab juice. Crab juice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else? Uh, people. People. Mm -hmm. Sand. Sand. Any poo poos? No. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right, get some soapy, and I'll set you up something to watch on your little laptop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you like to watch? Alpha blocks, number blocks. Number blocks. We're walking past the vegetable patch that Papa planted for us. It's getting really big now, isn't it? Yeah, there's more spinach. We can pick spinach on the way back. Oh, we can have it with our food tonight. Fresh leaves, yeah. Excellent. Yep, these have grown up a lot, even since I last picked them a couple of days ago. We're going to be eating these. These look a bit like water spinach to me, but I'm not sure. The dogs are acting a bit crazy again. Here's the gang, the four musketeers. <laughs> Unfortunately though, these boys are all still trying to get gold. Look at him, he's just a puppy himself. <laughs> Good girl, put that in your bag. Oh my god, <laughs> Good job. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. I see another echo. Oh, nutmeg. Nutmeg. Hello. I'm seeing more and more of nutmeg these days. Woo. Come see your mum. Pick up that big bottle story. Let's get that away from the beach. You could hold it. Can I put it in my bag? Like yeah, mummy's got an empty bag to put it in. A really cool looking sky today. That comes Who knows? Gold is really smart. She's one of the most agile dogs here, so she's jumped up top to reduce the amount of boys around her. <laughs> Only Moonshine could follow. And Nutmeg too, <laughs> but Nutmeg's her daughter. Excellent work story. Have you got a full bag too? Yeah, yeah. A few pieces of plastic in there. Yeah. <laughs> Another day's trash collection. Mama. Mama, 
We have allowed gold access into the house, but only gold. All the other dogs are outside. Now yeah, you can rest now, give you a bit of refuge from all those boys. So we've given Story a job to do, and that is to sort out all of the shells and bits of coral that she's been collecting since we got here. Yeah, now, I'm sorting them out like You are, aren't you? Do you remember when you first got here, you were just collecting everything, and then when she started doing your lessons with Chi, she told you that corals were the... House is full of fishes. That's right. So, for that reason, you shouldn't really take too much coral away from the beach, or any at all. So we thought what we'd do is, like, as an adjustment, rather than just taking it all and putting it back on the beach, we just find the best ones that she wants to keep for her collection. So should we give those back to the crabs? Yeah. Yeah. We'll I love hearts, so I, I, I want this one. Okay, you can keep the heart coral. Because I really love hearts. Okay, you can keep one and then the rest we'll put back in. This is the first one that Story wants to keep. You're just keeping all the hearts? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're your favourite. Yeah. Right, what about these pieces? Story spent the better part of last night sorting out her shells. And now she's going to go drop them off by the sea. Let's go, doggies. Let's go, King Kong. Let's go, gold. And they did come with us in the end. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they're the winner. They're so fast, aren't they? These are the shells that Story decided to send back to the sea. Quite a lot of them. This is like a three month collection. Why is it so hot? Can you carry this, Story? Is it too heavy? <laughs> well, we have to take it, take it down to the sea. We're going to leave them in the, in the ocean. What is going on? Uh, Gold is calling her soldiers because these girl dogs are coming over. Alright, shall we release these shells back into the ocean? Bye bye shells. Good girl. This one's like Maui's hook. But it looks like a bean. In they go. Back to the ocean. Back to you guys. Do you remember why we're doing this? The crabs get it. Get it. The crabs can live in them, can't they? Here, crabby crabby, come and take your shell. Good girl. I'm glad you remember why we're doing this. That one's far away. Good girl. Here go crabs. More than that. Not gonna believe this. One of the dogs has just stolen one of my slippers. Does Maui have it? So which dog has my slipper? Well, I just went searching up and down the beach and that is officially the end of my slipper. There's no way I'm getting that back. I can't believe the dog stole your shoes. <laughs> They're so sneaky. <laughs> While we're on the subject of dogs though, we got a few messages about Eden, our Cocker Spaniel from England, and how it might be difficult to get Eden back out of the Philippines because of the rabies vaccine. We just wanted to let you guys know we do know about all of that because we actually brought Eden to Thailand with us when we lived there for five years and we went through the whole system of getting her rabies vaccine sent to Europe and tested so we know that once Eden's out here it's difficult to get her back but yeah. not impossible. Yeah so we have already done this with Eden before we took her from England to Thailand and back again mm. already so she's already flying to Asia and back yeah. before. She's an excellent traveller, you don't have to worry about her <laughs> and if the opportunity does arise we do really want to get her out here to complete the family again. So talking of Thailand as well, if you have been watching our channel for quite a while and you're familiar with the Thailand vlogs, you may know of my good friend Jill who visited us quite a lot out in Thailand didn't she? Yeah we went on holidays together. Yes, she has just started up a pet portrait business, she's just got her Instagram page all set up and this is a very new thing for her and I'm really excited for her because Jill absolutely loves animals. And she's a qualified illustrator too so it she kind of blends is. together perfectly. Yes, ever since we were children she's always wanted to make her living being an illustrator. Now this is a new little venture for Jill that she started during 
lockdown <laughs> during the pandemic so it's really exciting her work is really great and obviously she's a really good friend of mine so I wanted to share with you that this is now here <laughs> and if you have a pet or you're interested in having some artwork done go and check out Jill's new Instagram page pretty little lines illustrations and if you do go over there tell her that we sent you <laughs> this is a piece that I asked Jill to do for me as a surprise for my mum this is my mum's dog Penny my mum was super happy with it she was really surprised when it came through the post I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested and it is now shout out time! Starting with a happy birthday to Aliana Chelsea Panningbatan. <laughs> it was your 15th birthday, hope you had a lovely day and this shout out was from your Tita Glads. Big happy birthday to Michael, hello and this is coming from Devin and you watch every morning with your dog Chloe so we're going to do a shout out to Chloe. <laughs> oh and cat Olivia too, yes, don't and forget your cat. cat. <laughs> <laughs> we are cat lovers too you know. Yes although I'm a little bit allergic to cats, <laughs> they make me itchy. <laughs> Another happy birthday going out to Lorna Chua, happy, happy birthday. birthday and this is from your Ate's Jane and Tonnet in Quezon City. Next we have a happy birthday to Samuel Medino of Cagayan de Oro City. And this shout out was requested by your wife May, so hello to you as well. It is a full birthday shout out list today isn't it? We have got more birthdays. Happy birthday to Joel Nadine. You recently turned 19 years old and you're in Toronto, Canada. And also, happy birthday to Joan in Phoenix, Arizona. Now 44 years old, <laughs> you guys are from Oroquita City in the Philippines and you like our decision to stay in the Philippines, we like it too. <laughs> and that came from Joe Salito. Thanks guys and happy birthday to you. <laughs> and the last shout out we're doing today is a big birthday, it is a 60th birthday happy birthday butch <laughs> and yeah. this came from your daughter Ina, Ina who's in New York City and that is it <laughs> hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you tomorrow bye bye